Hello everybody, this is String and we're back to kick off round 5 for Group F and we have got this intriguing fight card for you. So our main event of this session sees the top two going at it in Blood Moon and Team Aloe. But before that we have got some important clashes in the bottom half as well between Dino Hug and Benjamin Hub and Martin Soto and Anvil. But at first it is Heady going up against Dino Hunter. Ooh, the Alpha Arena. Okay, no Alpha types up. Dinosaurs in this matchup though, so doesn't really matter. <laughs> but anyway, in the red corner for Heady, we've got the Triceratops, the Grey Triceratops. Heady currently sitting third in this group. A win will close the gap, the gap on Blood Moon at the top. But in the blue corner for Dino Hunter, we have got Spiny. Dino Hunter battered and bruised after that 3-0 defeat against Blood Moon last time out. Looking to respond. And a win here would put Dino Hunter second in this group, I believe. No, I think, yeah, no, I think third, because they have they don't have the head-to-head -head against Team Allah. Well, we'll see how it goes. They got type disadvantage to deal with first. And we'll see how our Dino Hunter deals with this. But yeah, it's an important match for these two because they're currently sitting in the top four and a win will keep them there for another round. Ooh, that's a crit from the trike. Got my cup of tea. Oh, it's not. Ooh, but is Spiny getting the next hit on the board? This is good from Dino Hunter so far, despite the type disadvantage. He's not allowing Heady to take advantage of that. But Heady does. Look at that big damage. The heroic buff as well. Big shot by Triceratops. Well, just like that. How quickly the match can turn. And that is going to put Heady in the lead. Right, coming in next for Dino Hunter, we have got a Sign Raptor. Hmm, I think you'll probably need two hits to kill the uh, Triceratops. But Spiny did do a good amount of damage. Hmm. But, but Heady does have that decisive that lead. Can they extend it? Now the problem Dino Hunter has here is that the Triceratops is heroic type. And because Sin Sign Raptor's crit is rock, that crit on the trike is going to do a lot of damage. So Dino Hunter has to be wary of that. Oh, and wary of this. It's a Plasma Ranker. Well, Dino Hunter could have done with ties on the freaking Spiny. But it is Heady benefiting from that tie. That's not good. That's a crit. Massive hit from Heady. Is it unraveling for Dino Hunter again? Or can they pull this back? Oh, there's another hit. He's not going to lose 3-0 again, is he? <laughs> that's a lightning strike. Big hit from Heady. And they are 2-0 up. Right, for Dino Hunter's food Dino, we got Pachycephalosaurus. It needs to do something here. Because Heady is well on top. Well, we've had some comebacks in this tournament, but we haven't really had one for a while, so we do a comeback. Is this going to be that comeback? That's a tie. Okay, no Plasma Anchor this time. Oh, that's another hit, though. It's all heady at the moment. Okay, that's a tie. Needed that to be a tie. Can't afford to get hit by a crit now. Okay, there's a hit. A recovery as well. That could come in handy. Finally, Dino and again a hit here. A defense boost activating. That's definitely going to help, as will this light recovery. Triceratops goes down, but Dino Hunter does need to keep these hits coming. Because coming in next for Heady, we got Spinosaurus. And as for Heady, can
can they get a bonus point win here, which could, which would be big for them. It would keep them in the top four for this round, and it would put pressure on the guys in the bottom four as well. And they would have the top two looking over their shoulders. Ooh, and oh, that's a crit from Dino Hunter. Happy Cephalosaurus landing some shots here. Okay, that's going to max up the defense boost. That's a tie. Well, they don't want to get hit by a crit. That's the, whoop, that's the last thing they need. But that's another crit. Well, the momentum at the minute, you have to say, is with Dino Hunter. Can they do this? That's another crit. And all of a sudden... Hedy not looking so comfortable now. This has been a great fight back from Dino Hunter. And let's not forget, in the last in their last match, Dino Hunter lost 3-0 against Blood Moon. Right, coming in food for Hedy, we got the T-Rex. Well, T-Rex can finish this job easily. But it needs to get crits, because right now, momentum is definitely with Dino Hunter. And its secret move has been triggered as well. So that T-Rex is going to do even less damage. Oh, that's another crit! What was that, like four crits in a row? And Dino Hunter has brought this right back! Okay, well he ain't going to get five in a row. Oh, but instead, he's going to get off a dive flight, diving strike! I always get the rock and paper move mixed up. This is going to be massive from Dino Hunter. It's going to put him in the lead as well. Is he going to do the comeback? One hit! Hedy is all falling apart for them. And there's the hit! That's going to do it! It's Dino Hunter's win! And Hedy is absolutely stunned! Wow! Where did that come from? A comeback win for Dino Hunter. A massive three points. And Hedy, a massive chance missed. Right, on to match number two. Right then, in the red corner for Martin Soto, we have got Paki Rhinosaurus. Martin Soto still winless in this tournament. Only has the solitary losing bonus point to show for their efforts so far, but they need to win here. To have any chance of getting out of this group. But, in the blue corner for Anvil, we have got the Cantorurus. Anvil picking up some momentum here in the last couple of matches. And a win here would put them above Heady into fourth. And a bonus point win would put them above Dino Hunter into third. And level on points with Team Allo before they play Blood Moon. Lots to play for here. We don't have any win types in this matchup, I believe, so no... Uh, no terrain advantages, no blitz types. Ooh, is the Canterurus getting that first shot as a Venom Fang? That's a good first hit there from Anvil. That poison is going to do damage. And yes, I have, I have indigestion now, thanks to Dino Hunter. <laughs> Sitting my team too much. There's a tie. That's all right for Anvil because the poison is going to chip away at the Paki Rhinosaurus. But Paki Rhinosaurus does get the next hit on the board of Anyang Gira Dive. An even start so far. One hit apiece. Oh, but that's going to be a big shot from Paki Rhinosaurus. Oh, that's kind of pants actually. <laughs> Yeah, it's got type disadvantage, isn't it? Of course it does. Type. It's another type. Oh, and that's a third type, and that's going to be curtains for DeSanta Rurus. So Martin Soto does take a slight lead. Coming in next for Anvil, we've got Edmontosaurus. Now, the Edmontosaurus is revival type, so if it dies in a tie, it will get to come back. That's something to bear into, into account. And Anvil coming into this, off the, fresh off their victory over Team Aloe in round four. Oh, 
Tight. No plasma anchors though. And that's another hit from Pachyrhinosaurus. A lightning strike coming. Mind so to extend in their lead. Is this the break they needed? Ooh, okay. Edmontosaurus gets the next hit. That's going to down the Pachyrhinosaurus. Let's see if there's a nature's blessing here. Nope. Right, coming in next for Martin Soto, we've got Saltysaurus. Now, Saltysaurus is all about the crit. And that crit being... Hydro cut that. So of course it is. Ooh, but that's a crit from Edmontosaurus. Anvil coming back into this match. That's a death grind. With a Tappy Jara dive to come as well. That's going to add extra damage. And a Nature's Blessing here might actually put Anvil back in front. And look at that! And well, we're level packed in. Martin Soto's lead gone in an instant. Ooh, I went for a Hydro Cutter then, didn't he? <laughs> Edmontosaurus is having none of it. And that is going to put Anvil back in the lead. A death grind coming in. Going to finish Saltosaurus. Is it unraveling for Martin Soto again? Okay, coming in third for Martin Soto. We've got Sorrel Faganax. It's got the death fire. It's, it's probably his ace in the hole here. And it can definitely win this match for him. Elixir. But at the minute, it's Anvil getting all the hits, getting the momentum, but no nature's blessing yet. That has been, that is a surprise. Okay, this is a big magma blaster. That's going to finish off Edmontosaurus. And will Anvil regret not getting off a nature's blessing yet? That could come back the cost them. Right, coming in third for Anvil, we've got Albertosaurus. Hmm. Now, it doesn't hit as hard as Sorofagonix, so... I think maybe... You know, I think Martin Soto does have the slight edge here. But it is a straight one-on-one -on -one shot between two fire types. Okay, that's a tie. Ooh, that's going to get rid of the death fire. Interesting. The third tie. Well, that's the uh, losing bonus points secured for Anvil. Oh, that's a hit. That's a move block. That's going to get rid of all of Sword Faganax's moves. Boosh, boosh. But the death fire has been triggered. Somehow. <laughs> Well, it's all on this, isn't it? Can Martin Soto get this death fire off, which will give him the win? Oh, he can! And it's Martin Soto's victory. On the fifth time of asking, they're going to get their first ever win. And this could be a big win for them. And Anvil can't believe it. The death fire wasn't removed when it got triggered, so it got triggered. If it had stayed removed, it wouldn't have got triggered. But Martin Soto gets that big death fire off and gets a massive win, which keeps their tournament hopes, their qualifying hopes, alive. Anvil will get a losing bonus point, though. So, you know, they're not going away empty-handed. But, yeah, massive result for Martin Soto, that. Right, on the match number three. Right then, in the red corner for Dino Hug, we have got Mini King, one of the craziest additions to any teams in this tournament. Okay, we're in the Colosseum, which favours nobody. I don't think anyone has secret dinosaurs in this match. Oh, wait, Dino Hug does. 
They got the Apatosaurus. <laughs> See, when I enter the codes for these teams, I don't actually look at the dinosaurs in the moves, I just look at the code. Right, in the blue corner, for Benjamina, we have got Super Carnotaurus, Great Mode on 2. <laughs> Both of these two looking for a win here to close that gap on the top four. A win for either of these two would put them in the top four, I believe. It's a tie. <clears throat> the tie. Oh, here comes the plasma anchor. Gonna reel in that Carnotaurus there. It's a good hit from Dino Hug. Right, that's one. Oh, that's a crit! Now, I think the Carnotaurus will survive this, because Mini King isn't the hardest hitting dinosaur, but it is gonna have really low health. Oh wow, only just, I tell you what, only just. What a hit from Dino Hug, but the Awakening Mode coming in for the Carnotaurus. A hit here, which would be a crit. Oh, he doesn't get the hit. Well, I was going to say a crit would take out the Mini King, but instead Mini King gets the hit and it's Dino Hug in the lead. Right, coming in next for Benjamino, we got Super Ceratosaurus. Again, Awakening Mode on two. Well, he failed to get the Awakened Hit with a Carno. Can he get the Awakened Hit with this Serato? It's been a good start from Dino Hug so far. Okay, there's a hit. I think that's uh, Benjamina's first hit in this match. Oh, of course the Counter Blitz gets triggered. Attack boost activate in there. Right, that's one. Okay, at least it didn't get triggered when the Serato was awakened. Because that would have been absolute tragedy. Okay, there's a tie that gets rid of the counter blitz. Oh, that's another hit from Mini King. Well, Dino Hug is going to extend his lead here. But can this Ceratosaurus take out Mini King? He does get the hit this time. That's going to be at, at curtains for Mini King, but it did come at a cost. And that cost being that Ceratosaurus' HP will be halved. And to make matters worse, this Apatosaurus comes in next with terrain advantage, so it will get the next hit. And it will be a crit. So Ceratosaurus is going to go down. <laughs> Self-sacrifice there. Give me indigestion. Yeah, that's going to be it for Ceratosaurus, unfortunately. I really shouldn't record just after I've had lunch. <laughs> Okie dokie, coming in third for Benjamino. We got Cockerodontosaurus. But it's going to have his work cut out because Dino Hug does have a big lead here. Not only will this cock have to take out a Patosaurus, it's got to take out Allosaurus Atrox that comes in third. But for Dino Hug, a really good chance here for a bonus point win. Okay, that's a crit. That's definitely going to help. It's another hit. Benjamin are getting some hits back in this match. Pulling it back slowly but surely. Dino Hug can't get a hit with this Apatosaurus. And that, with a Volcano Burst, possibly? No. Oh, but Dino Hug finally gets that hit. It's not the biggest hit, but it is going to do damage to the Kark. I mean, this is irrelevant at this point, since one hit from the car will probably finish off the Apatosaurus. The Magma Blaster getting triggered here. Ooh, that's a tie. Couldn't afford to get hit by that Arc Discharge. That would have done massive damage. Okay, there's a hit. Light Recovery's coming in. 
and that is Magma Blaster. But the good thing for Dino Hug here is that that wastes the Magma Blaster. So that is probably a, not a bad outcome for them. And the cat did take a little bit of damage. Right, coming in third for Dino Hug, we've got Allosaurus Atrox. The heavy hitting wind gold. Now, it doesn't have any wind moves, I believe, so it won't have tight disadvantage against the Kark. So it will hit just as hard as ever. Ooh, but that's a crit. That's actually going to put Benjamino on the lead. Well, it's going to level it up. That will put him in the lead, though. Things unraveling for Dino Hug in this match. And, that well, that's the losing bonus point secured. But Dino Smash needs to get hits here. And does. Okay, that's an attack boost, I believe. Oh, I didn't take it below half. It's, like, just above, I think. Oh, that's a Magma Blaster. That's going to do it. It's going to be Benjaminard's victory. And the light recovery coming in is going to deny Dino Hug the losing bonus point as well. Just to add insult to injury. And it is Benjamina's victory. And the Kakiridontosaurus definitely did its work yet again. Proving to be a really good asset for Benjamina in this tournament. Right. On to our main event of this session. A clash of the top. Right, the hold then. In the red corner for Blood Moon, we have got a T-Rex. Blood Moon fresh off their 3 0 extincted win against Dino Hunter. And a win for Blood Moon here would all but guarantee a place in the knockout rounds. I mean, he's pro it'll probably be like 95, 98% through. Right, in the blue corner for Team Allo, we've got Allosaurus. Team Allo enjoying a very good debut tournament. Sitting second, a win will put them top. And will, again, all but secure their spot in the last 32. And this aloe is blitz type as well, so it will go for those two crits. And that could be crucial because that those two crits will stop Blood Moon getting their crit off. Which, as we saw against Dino Hunter, that crit, those crits made a huge difference. And Team Allo will have terrain advantage in this match as well, courtesy of the Alpha Allosaurus. So they're very well equipped to deal with big crits like the T-Rex. And that's, look at that, massive start. Ooh, but Blood Moon didn't fall for it again. That's a fire cannon. Now, normally, if you see this guy face up against three wind types, this could be a sweet but There's only one wind move in the entire team. Team Allo getting another hit there. Okay, so they got off one crit and then got hit. So, you know, not too bad for Team Allo there. And that is the reason they have the lead. Ooh, but that's a firebomb. Blood Moon getting some hits. And well, after everything said and done, we're level pecking. Okay, there's a crit, but the tag team is going to stop the burning dash. I mean, it wouldn't have mattered anyway because Allosaurus was done, but this is going to waste the burning dash. And I'll stop Blood Moon going in front and getting an opportunity to hit the Allosaurus Atrox. Okay, well, he gets the hit anyway. It's a fire cannon. So Allosaurus will go down here. Now a key moment in this main event is that the Alpha is that will the T-Rex get a big hit on this Allosaurus Atrox, which does have Hurricane Beat. Now the, 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 the saving grace for Team Allo is that they they guaranteed that they're not going to lose three 0 because even if the T-Rex does kill Atrox. Alpha Allosaurus comes in, it'll get the terrain hit, it'll finish the T-Rex. But let's see, can 
But yeah, Team Arrow do need to kill this T-Rex quick and make sure that the Atrox doesn't take too much damage. And there it is. That power drain will seal the deal. Good shot there from Team Allo. I don't know I'm going to press the buttons because the T-Rex is already dead. Okie dokie, coming in next for Blood Moon, we've got Uteraptor. Had a nice break off in round four. And well, it deserved it because it's definitely pulled its weight for Blood Moon in this tournament. Especially in the first two matches where it really was the star of the show. Ooh, okay, there's a hit. Blood Moon getting, getting first blood there. But Atrox getting another power drain off, another crit. That's going to put Team Allo in front. Shekis. Oh, look at that. Massive hit from Team Allo. Man, Allosaurus Atrox's crit is good. Okay, that's a tie. Another tie. Ooh, that's a hurricane beat. And the Uteraptor is going down. And Team Allo is going in front. Kickies. Right, coming in third for Blood Moon, we have got the Deinonychus. Well, we've hardly seen anything from this guy. <laughs> it's probably been the one dinosaur that hasn't really performed that well for Blood Moon. But it hasn't needed to. But it's going to have to now, because Team Allo have a good lead. Ty, Blood Moon just can't get a hit at the minute. Okay, there we go. There's a hit. Badoosh. Okay, that's a Ty. Really don't want to get hit by another Atrox crit. Oh, but instead, gonna get hit by that Hurricane Beat. Okay, this is not too bad. I believe the secret moves got triggered, so damage will be limited. And Allosaurus Atrox's scissors move isn't really the hardest hitting, let's be honest. Tell you what, it still did a decent amount of damage. Ooh, that's a tie, and that's going to be curtains for Atrox. But now the Alpha Allosaurus comes in and makes things really interesting because it has terrain advantage. I think it will not kill the Deinonychus. I have to double check his move. Oh, saying that, it's Venom Fang, I think, so it might. It might be lethal here. Either that or the Deinonychus is going to have a tiny amount of health left. But either way, Team Allo is going to be on the brink of the win. So let's see what we get. And yeah, it's a Venom Fang. Uh, the poison is irrelevant because Deinonychus is on low health anyway, but... Is this going to be lethal? Oh, it's lethal! The Deinonychus did not survive, and it is Team Allo's victory! And let's just have a look. I think even if the Deinonychus survived, let's have a look. Oh, it would have got a crit off. Okay, let's do that again. Oh... Oh, bug. Oh, wow. Wow. That is crazy. So if it weren't for that terrain, if it weren't for the Deinonychus going down, Blood Moon might have won this match. Wow. Crazy, man. Right, let's have a look at the table. We can end the session. Well, that's how Group F looks, ladies and gentlemen. We've got Team Allo topping it now with 14 points. Six points clear of Heady. They're pretty much all but through. As is Blood Moon on 13 points, despite the defeat. Then we have Dino Hunter climbing up to third on 10 points. Benjamin are going into the top four on nine points. And a uh, good thing to note is that these two do play each other next round. So that'll be interesting. Heady above Anvil by uh, virtue of the head-to-head. -head. 
both on eight points, Dino Hug on six, and then Martin Soto finally getting a win in this tournament, climbing up to four points, but still at the bottom. But they're only five points adrift of, the, of these guys, so still all to play for. But yeah, that's going to end this session here, so I hope you enjoyed. Until next time, ta-ta! Mm -hmm.